The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is the most advanced big screen phone so far because it's much more than a phone. It's a highly evolved note taking device. Samsung has made its most elegant looking phone yet with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The square of edges combined with the sophisticated mystic bronze color give this handset a corner of its vibe. The finish does a good job of resisting fingerprints. The massive 6.9 inch OLED Quad HD Plus display on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is big, bold and colorful. More importantly, this is the first Samsung phone to offer a dynamic 120Hz refresh rate. The display is exceedingly bright and is fairly easy to read in direct sunlight. When using the display, scrolling is super smooth and fast. You can always choose 60Hz manually if you want to save battery life. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra features triple rear camera setup plus a laser autofocus sensor. The camera array starts with a 108MP wide camera with a 1.8 aperture and it's paired with a 12MP ultra wide camera with a 120 degree field of view. The 12MP telephoto lens delivers a 5x optical zoom and up to a 50x super resolution zoom. The zoom lens delivers amazing quality. Every time you zoom into something, you will be surprised by the distance it covered and the details it captured. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra's night mode is good but it's not quite as bright or colorful as the iPhone 11 Pro. Pictures taken with this device deliver stunning quality with great details and colors. The Note 20 Ultra delivered better results than the iPhone 11 Pro in close-up shots. If you want to record the sharpest video possible, you will be pleased to know that the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra can record 8K video with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. There is also a new Pro Video mode that lets you control the focus, exposure and zoom speed. The 12 megapixel selfie camera up front has a 120 degree field of view which should come in handy for group selfies. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra benefits from a swift 9ms response time for its S Pen which is designed to deliver more of a pen to paper feel when taking notes or drawing. It's one of the fastest Android phones around and it's one of the first handsets with Qualcomm Snapdragon's 865 Plus processor. This chipset boosts the clock speed by up to 10% to 3.1 GHz and the graphics is also 10% faster than the regular Snapdragon 865 chip inside the Galaxy S20. This processor is paired with 12 GB of RAM and either 128 GB or 512 GB of internal storage. As you would expect from a premium flagship, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra supports both flavors of 5G. You will also appreciate the improved DeX experience, which is now completely wireless. Now you can beam what's on your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra screen to a compatible smart TV. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra packs a pretty beefy 4500 mAh battery, which held up well in daily use. It comes with 25W fast charging. It also supports wireless charging and 9W reverse wireless charging. It offers a best-in-class display, a better S Pen experience and a boatload of new features for work and play. The cameras are stellar, fixing the focusing problem with the Galaxy S20 Ultra and the powerful zoom and Xbox gameplay give the Note 20 Ultra an advantage over the upcoming iPhone 12. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra is a big smartphone in every dimension. In fact, it's not far off from the Samsung's recently released Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The Mi 10 Ultra is heavy and can be cumbersome if you don't have big hands and deep pockets. Xiaomi went with a glass sandwich design with aluminium rails and carved glass on both sides. On the front, there's a full-size display with a punch hole in the top left and a speaker grill above the glass. The Mi 10 Ultra is not IP certified, which is unfortunate. Other phones at this price point, particularly those from Apple and Samsung, offer protection from water and dust. Xiaomi opted for a 6.67-inch Full HD Plus 120Hz OLED panel instead of a Quad HD Plus screen. At this price, I don't think this is a problem given there are many amazing tech that's packed into the device. The panel is smooth and fast as well as vibrant with deep contrast. If you don't like the excellent adaptive color setting, you can change it in the comprehensive display settings menu. Brightness was quite good even under direct sunlight, the Mi 10 Ultra was easily viewable. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra skips the fresh Snapdragon 865 Plus in favor of the regular 865. Either way, the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra is very fast. I didn't have a single performance problem in my week with this device. I played lots of games, took many photos and did a lot of multitasking. I just couldn't get the Mi 10 Ultra to stutter. I think it's fair to say that whatever you do on your phone will be light work for this device. It comes with 8, 12 or 16 GB of RAM depending on the variation. Camera wise the Mi 10 Ultra comes with a quad camera setup. 
There's the main 48 megapixel main camera, a 20 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 12 megapixel portrait camera, and finally a 120x ultra zoom camera. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra takes punchy and contrast heavy images with a fair amount of dynamic range. This device seems to be able to capture white balance well. On dull days the phone took dull photos, on bright days the phone took bright photos. The Mi 10 Ultra's biggest photography feature is its zoom functionality. Samsung offered 100x zoom in the S20 Ultra but the Xiaomi is offering 120x in the Mi 10 Ultra. I found the Mi 10 Ultra's night mode to be one of the worst I have ever encountered on a flagship smartphone. It struggled with flares, captured very little detail and was overall rather disappointing. On the front there is a single 20 megapixel camera for selfie duties. The Mi 10 Ultra takes some decent selfies but there is a fair amount of skin smoothing going on. Selfie portrait mode photos seem to look rather realistic. The Mi 10 Ultra's video is average at best. It's got 8K video at 24fps alongside the standard USD 60fps mode. There's also a 960fps slow motion mode. On the surface, the Mi 10 Ultra's battery is an average size for this class of smartphone. It's a 4500 mAh cell in a device with 5 cameras, a power hungry chipset, and a big high refresh rate display. Xiaomi's software, however, works aggressively in the background, killing applications and optimizing power users to deliver good battery life. The device charged from 0 to 100% in just 21 minutes in our testing. It includes 120W fast charging, it also comes with 50W wireless charging and 10W reverse wireless charging. The Huawei P40 Pro Plus feels excellent in hand. The Pro Plus features a quad curve overflow display which means they have carved glass at all four edges. This device looks genuinely unique and recognizable in a sea of smartphones packing same design from the front. Available in high gloss black or white, a key differentiator between the P40 Pro and P40 Pro Plus is the material used around the back. Display itself is a 6.58 inch OLED panel with vivid colors, deep blacks and customizable color temperature and display options. Viewing angles and outdoor viewability are great. You can expect identical performance across the P40 Pro and P40 Pro Plus given the fact both pack Kirin 990 chipsets with 8GB of RAM. We found the Huawei P40 Pro Plus to be just as speedy as other top-end phones such as the Galaxy S20 or iPhone 11. The P40 Pro Plus packs a powerful rear camera setup, equipped with 5 lenses. The main lens here is a 50 megapixel sensor and a 40 megapixel ultra wide lens. The Pro Plus sports two telephoto snappers, both packing 8 megapixel resolution. The first telephoto camera features a 3x zoom and the second features a 10x optical zoom. Both of these lenses feature optical image stabilization and there is a time of flight 3D depth sensing camera in the mix too. Through a combination of hardware and software, Huawei says the phone is able to achieve 100x zoom. As for the video recording capabilities of the Pro Plus, it comes with 4K video recording at 60fps. The front camera is among the best we have ever tested with 32 megapixel of resolution and a secondary depth sensor for maximum impact selfies. This phone captures stunning details combined with dynamic range and excellent low light performance to handle virtually any environment you shoot. The Huawei P40 Pro Plus has a 4200 mAh battery inside and its performance is fantastic. It can easily last a full day through intensive use. It also supports 40W fast charging and there's also 40W wireless charging too. iPhone 11 Pro Max smartphone was launched in September 2019. The phone comes with a 6.5 inch Super Retina XDR OLED touchscreen display with 83.7% screen to body ratio. It is powered by Apple A13 Bionic 7 nanometer processor. It comes with 4GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the iPhone 11 Pro Max on the rear packs triple camera setup consisting of a 12 megapixel main shooter and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens and a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. There are two cameras on the front for selfies. One is a 12 megapixel camera and another time of flight 3D camera. This device is based on iOS 13 and packs 512 GB of inbuilt storage. It is powered by a 3969 mAh battery with 18 watt fast charging support. It was launched in space grey, silver, gold and midnight green colors.
The Sony Xperia 1 Mark II comes with a 6.5 inch display that has a 4K resolution. It's a HDR OLED panel. However, the company has included a new feature that will allow for a 90Hz effect on the screen, but it doesn't seem to use an actual 90Hz panel. Sony's latest flagship phone features a 3.5mm headphone jack on the top edge. The design is glass on the front and back, both of which are protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 6 technology, and it will come in either black or purple. It also has a full bezel at the top rather than a notch or punch hole. Inside the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, there is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset, which is one of the very best processors on the market. It offers some strong performance and be able to cope with all the tasks that most other top-end phones can do. The phone comes with 8GB of RAM to keep it running. Storage-wise, you have got 256GB of space to play with here, and that's expandable with a microSD card. 5G is one of the big talking points of Xperia 1 Mark II, there is no 4G only variant of this phone. The camera is another area Sony's put a spotlight on. The camera includes a 12MP main sensor, a 12MP telephoto one with 3x optical zoom, and a 12MP ultrawide sensor alongside a 3D time of flight sensor that will offer groundbreaking autofocus technology. It's using a technology that Sony developed for its Alpha range of cameras, and the aim here is to give you the best shot through stronger autofocus. This technology can completely autofocus and auto expose your calculations at 60 frames per second, while the camera itself can take 20 shots in burst mode each second. But Sony claims it improves autofocus for low light conditions as well as in everyday shooting. The phone can also record video in 4K HDR at up to 60 FPS. Pictures are amazing with this camera with its stunning dynamic range and color accuracy. On the front of the phone, there's an 8 megapixel selfie camera and Sony announced they have made significant improvements for front-facing shots. Sony has also made some big improvements to the battery on this device by increasing it to 4000 mAh on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, up from 3330 mAh on the Xperia 1. There's also fast charging here that will allow for up to 50% charge in 30 minutes. It have a 6.78 inch display that packed with many features to enhance your viewing experience. It has a ultra HD resolution with 10 bit color, a variable 120Hz refresh rate and a 240Hz touch input rate. There is also a post ultra vision engine chipset which can automatically upgrade 60fps video to 120fps to fit the screen rate. These features combine to deliver a screen that's vibrant and which should display content beautifully. There's no 3.5mm headphone jack here, so fans of wired headphones will be disappointed. The phone is IP68 protected though, so it's safe from dust and water to a high degree. There's plenty of reason to believe the Oppo Find X2 Pro will be a processing powerhouse. It's got the top-end Snapdragon 865 chipset and 12GB of RAM. The Snapdragon chipset endows the Find X2 Pro with super-fast 5G connectivity, as it has a 5G modem built-in. Oppo told us there won't be a 4G-only X2 handset. The Oppo Find X2 Pro has three rear cameras, two of which are 48 megapixel sensors, the main camera and an ultra wide snapper, while the third is a 13 megapixel telephoto snapper. This shooter has the same lens as the zoom module of the Oppo Reno 10X zoom, so it supports 5x optical, 10x hybrid and 60x digital zoom. There are a few interesting features Oppo has included, such as the phone's ability to capture raw images. Raw files capture more brightness and color information than regular JPEG images, giving you more scope to process them in editing software. And an autofocus system based on Sony's alpha cameras, there's also 4K video recording at up to 60fps. On the front of the phone, there is a 32 megapixel front facing camera in the cutout segment. Overall, the Find X2 Pro produces excellent exposure and captures a good amount of detail, even in overcast weather. Colors are accurate and lean more towards the realistic side rather than being oversaturated. In terms of battery life, you are getting a 4260 mAh pack, which would normally be pretty generous for a flagship phone. Although because of the large screen and high-end display tech, it may not actually last very long. The Oppo Find X2 Pro uses Oppo 65W fast charging which will apparently get the device from empty to 100% in 35 minutes or less. The Galaxy S20 Ultra is Samsung's biggest Android phone and it lives up to its name. It is the first Samsung phone with a 120Hz display which is designed to deliver smoother motion when you are scrolling and especially playing games. You can also toggle between 60Hz and 120Hz in settings, which will come in handy if you want to save battery life. Samsung's 6.9 inch display will push the boundaries of your finger's reach, but it won't feel much bigger than the S10 Plus. 
Its width is actually a little smaller than the 6.8 inch Note 10 Plus and 6.7 inch Galaxy S10 5G. It's just that the Galaxy S20 Ultra is noticeably taller, not wider, expanding to a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. You can still grip it with one hand and shove it in a deep enough jeans pocket. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra is made of glass and aluminium and it is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 6. The specs of this smartphone rival the likes of laptops, meaning it's more than you will ever need. The internal specs are all top of the line, a 7 nanometer chipset, Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 in the US or Samsung's Exynos 990 in the UK and Europe, 16 GB of RAM, 512 GB of internal storage and a micro SD card slot for expandable storage. The app's performance are silky smooth. The S20 Ultra isn't a pure gaming phone but it matches the Asus ROG Phone 2 and Razer Phone 2 with a silky smooth 120Hz refresh rate. The S20 Ultra has a 108MP 1.8 aperture main camera, a 48MP 3.5 aperture telephoto camera and a 12MP 2.2 aperture ultra wide camera. There's also a time of flight depth camera on the back aiding portrait photos and 3D scans and a 40MP selfie camera on the front. It's Samsung's biggest camera sensor upgrade since the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. The main 108MP camera delivers great quality pictures with stunning details. The camera performed well in almost every light condition. The telephoto lens is capable of 10x lossless zoom and a crazy 100x space zoom. Pictures from the selfie camera delivers great dynamic range and quality. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra camera introduces 8K resolution video recording and steady stabilization. 8K is going to allow you to crop and edit video without sacrificing quality while the 4K will give you more frame rate and zoom options. Samsung's super fast charging returns on the S20 Ultra up to 45W with an optional charger and 25W with the charger included in the box. It also supports 15W fast wireless charging. Samsung equipped this phone with a massive 5000mAh battery which is the biggest in a Galaxy S series device. Samsung Galaxy S20 has a lot of potential. Samsung promised something amazing will happen in 2020 and here it is. OnePlus has added the best display it's ever made on the 8 Pro and the Chinese company says it's the best screen you will see on a phone for 2020. It is a 6.78 inch fluid display with a 120Hz refresh rate, HDR10 Plus support and QHD resolution. The OnePlus 8 Pro features a circular punch hole camera cutout in the top left corner of the screen. The OnePlus 8 Pro is the first handset from the brand to carry an official IP rating which means it's officially protected against dust and water. The phone features Qualcomm's top of the line Snapdragon 865 chipset which comes with Qualcomm's X55 5G modem to enable super fast internet speeds where 5G is available. The OnePlus 8 Pro packs 4 rear cameras including a 48MP main camera with an 1.78 aperture. There's also a 8MP telephoto camera with a 3x optical zoom and ultra wide 48MP camera with a 119 degree field of view and a dedicated 5MP color filter camera that lets you apply artistic filters as you are shooting. The OnePlus 8 Pro's main 48MP camera and wide angle shooter take sharp and vibrant shots, especially in outdoor lighting. The dynamic range and color accuracy is great. In addition to that, the camera's 3x lossless zoom can take pictures without losing detail. It can also digitally zoom up to 30x, but the photo quality really degrades at this level. The camera can also shoot 4K video and has optical image stabilization. On the front, there is a single 16MP selfie camera which delivers stunning quality. Overall, the OnePlus 8 Pro cameras are a big improvement over the camera setups found on the 7 Pro and 70 Pro. The OnePlus 8 Pro comes with a sizable 4510 mAh battery, which is the biggest OnePlus has ever put in a handset. The OnePlus 8 Pro could comfortably last a day on a single charge with typical uses including gaming, video playback, social media, messaging, video calls and photography. Twenty twenty has been a big year for Motorola already. First, its own foldable phone, the Motorola Razr, and now we have the Motorola Edge Plus. The Edge Plus isn't just a rebranded Z series phone; it's a fresh start for the company's product line. This is a device pushed to the extremes and which can compete with the best, such as Samsung Galaxy and Apple handsets. Motorola has furnished the Edge Plus with many elements from the leading flagships. 
The screen is curved over the sides like the waterfall display from the Samsung Galaxy S20 and Samsung Galaxy Note 10 lines of phones. It doesn't have an IP water and dust resistance rating, but Motorola claims its design is water repellent. And of course, it contains one of the rarest of features on a flagship phone, a 3.5mm headphone jack. The display is 6.7 inch full HD plus OLED panel, its large, sharp and the endless edge sides are very attractive. The display's 21 by 9 aspect ratio makes this phone feel narrow, meaning some people may find it awkward to use one-handed. Like many other flagship phones in 2020, you can set the edge plus to light up its sides when receiving notification. Another great feature is the 90Hz refresh rate, meaning smooth video and gameplay. The phone's specs are top tier, from its Snapdragon 865 chipset to the 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. The Motorola H Plus packs a traditional quad rear camera setup. The star of the show is the 108MP main shooter, which can use pixel binning tech that reduces the megapixel count while effectively expanding the size of each pixel to let in more light. The phone also has an 8MP telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom and a 16MP ultra-wide camera as well as a time-of-flight depth sensor to enable bokeh effect in portrait shots. The main shooter can also capture video in 6K UHD. Pictures taken with this device looks great with rich color and great dynamic range. On the front there is a 25MP camera for selfies which delivers great picture quality. The H Plus is also 5G capable. It packs a 5000mAh battery and Motorola claims it will last for up to 2 days. Sadly, the H Plus max out at 18W charging, which has been the case with the previous Motorola phones. It also supports 15W fast wireless charging and 5W reverse wireless charging. The Honor 30 Pro is a powerful, future-proof smartphone at a very attractive price. The 6.57-inch screen is an OLED panel and it gets very bright with excellent viewing angles. Color reproduction is great and viewing experience is super smooth. Let's start with the processor. Powering the Honor 30 Pro is the Kirin 9905G chipset. This is Huawei's best chipset right now, with benchmarks putting it ahead of the Snapdragon 855 Plus. The Kirin 9905G is a 7nm chip with built-in dual-mode 5G support. It comes with 8GB of RAM. There are two storage variants, 128 or 256 GB. The Honor 30 Pro has quad rear camera setup. The main camera here is 40 megapixel wide lens. It also has a 8 megapixel periscope lens which support 5x optical zoom, a 10x hybrid zoom and a 50x digital zoom. It is equipped with optical image stabilization for better control when snapping photos. Plus it uses artificial intelligence to keep the image in the viewfinder steady when really zoomed in. In addition to this, it also has a 16MP ultra-wide lens and 2MP depth sensor. In terms of camera performance, expect industry-based low-light performance via the RYYB sensor, although images can be occasionally appear overly processed and cool. The Honor 30 Pro's camera keeps up with the Apple's best in still photography. When it comes to video, the 30 Pro is still falls short of the iPhone in terms of fluidity and stabilization. It can record 4K video at 60fps and 1080p super slow-mo video at 1920fps. In general, photos are great with amazing color and dynamic range. Wide-angle images are sharper and closer to standard shots from the main camera than other phones megapixel and the other is 8 megapixel. You can also record 4K video with the front camera. You can expect to capture great selfies with this device with the help of different built-in camera modes. As for the battery, it is powered by a 4000mAh battery with 40W fast charging and 5W reverse charging. 